Hey, welcome back to a piano lesson with Warren. Today, we're not going to talk about piano, but instead I want to uh, introduce you guys to an app that I discovered a few months ago that solved the issue of downloading files to mobile devices. We live in a day and age now where most people prefer to study and browse the web from their mobile device like, you know, the iPad or the iPhone or the Android. The problem with that now is that, especially for Apple devices, iPads and iPhones weren't designed like laptops or desktop, desktop meaning they don't have a local file storage folder like you can easily download something on your desktop or your laptop computer. The iPhone and the iPads were not designed with that local feature. And so when you say, I wanna download this video, or I wanna download this PDF from the website, or this backing track and you see it's not working, that's not because the site is broken. It's because the devices weren't designed with local storage like that. The Apple interface is very close knit. You know, they're very peculiar about how they allow files to get downloaded or passed through the device. And so everything has to be done through an app as it relates to iPhones and iPad. And even with that, it's a problem because I've heard developers trying to create apps for the Apple Store and they're getting stonewalled. So it's a very high bar. They're very sort of protective as to how they integrate with different apps and content. Anyway, so that's the background. Apple, iPhones and iPads, you can't download direct to it. So this app that I uh, recently discovered uh, by uh, the company named Riaddle, it's called Documents, and what that does, it basically becomes that local file storage on your um, device, and it helps you to download any file from the internet, PDF, zip file, uh, CVS file, MP4, MP3, you name it, and this file can download that, uh, this app can download that file and also play back the file or open the file or anything like that. So now let me show you how you can use this app on your iPad to download uh, all sorts of files from PDF to MP3 to video, especially video, because I've gotten a lot of questions from folks asking, how do I download the videos directly to my iPad? So once you download the app, Documents, there's mine right there, I click on it. You're gonna see this screen. First thing you want to do is go to browser. You click on browser and that's going to open up the browser and you can navigate to the website. Let me just navigate to my website. Actually, I had some stuff saved in the browser. So let's do that. So I'm on the website and I'm on the course the beginner's practice template. So if you're on the course on your iPad and you wanna download the course material files, that's where you'd find them. Course material files, so all the PDFs and so on for the course. So once I click on that link, that green highlighted text, it's going to redirect me and ask me if I wanna to go to, to get the Dropbox app or all of that, you're gonna say no. Just go to continue to website. And those are the files right there. So these are the text files for the beginner's practice template. And you have the, the, the dot, dot file, the pages file, and the PDF. So depending on whichever one you wanna download, I made three different files available. So I'm just going to go head over here now to the top right corner, top um, right corner of the screen where it says download. Click on that drop down, and then I'm gonna say direct download. Then this little dialog box is gonna pop up asking if you wanna retitle the download and if you want it to save somewhere else. So I'm gonna keep everything as is. Click on done. And then you see the file was downloaded right there. Now to access the file, you're going to go to the top left corner to where you see those three blue lines. You click on that and it's gonna open the settings. And from there, then when you click on documents, that purple folder, and that's the file that you were just downloaded, that you just downloaded. 
to zip file, if I click on it, it uncompress, and then I see the folder. And those are all the files that I just downloaded right there. So if I click on the PDF, it opens up and you can read right from there. See how easy? If you want to view the rest of the pages that you see at the top, you see those four squares? It says the beginner's practice files and the four squares, you click on that and it opens up all the different, so you see all the different pages for that. And I can click on them as needed. Go back, click on them, yeah? And that's how you can view PDF files. Now, what if I want to download, if you have the gold membership, it allows you to download three video lessons every month. And if you wanna download those to your iPad, you can do this. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back, then we're gonna go back to browser because we're downloading it from the website. And I can just go back, keep going, you know, go back till I get back to the website or you can punch it in into the URL, URL field. So what if I wanted to download, say a course from 12 week progression beginners. Let's pick that one. And if I navigate to one of the course page, let's say key of C, I'll click on that one. And I'm on the key of C. So that big blue button down below, I mean, <laughs> not blue button, the yellow button that says download. That's the button that's telling me that, hey, I can download this lesson because I have that membership. So I click on that yellow button and the dialog box pop up. Ask me if I wanna change the name, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just gonna clip everything as is, and then I'm going to say done. And that's the video. Now it's currently downloading to the Documents app. See how easy it is? No hassle, and this app is free. It's done the same way on the mobile device too, so if you wanna do that using your cell phone. It's the same procedure using the mobile device. So if I go to my Documents now, go to Documents, I can see the video downloading. It shows pending, actually now it's complete. So if I click on it, that's the video right there playing. It's downloaded directly to your iPad. That's how you can easily download files to your iPad using that Documents app. And once, if you want, what if you wanna drag all these files in a particular folder? You see this blue plus button to the bottom right of the screen? If I click on that, that dialog box open and I say, I want to create a new folder. And if I can, I can call this piano lessons. And then I can just drag all these folder into that main folder. All that lesson. Let's drag that, drop it, zip file, drop it. And so you can really organize your folders based on the different things that you download. Now I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing from the cell phone. So now we're on the cell phone and I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using the Documents app. So that's my Documents app right there. If I click on it, it looks a little bit different. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna come to the bottom right of the screen where you see that little Safari web browser icon. I'm gonna click on it and that's gonna open up the web browser. Now I'm just gonna punch in the website. Now I'm on the website, I'm gonna go log into my account. So now that I'm logged in now, I'm going to go do the same thing that I just did. 
Let's go to all courses. And we're going to look at... Let's try one from... From the 12-week progression again. So I click on it. And it's going to ask me if I want to use the Dropbox app again. We're going to say no. Continue the website. And see now it opens up. It's showing me the PDF and the different guide tracks. Now I'm going to go over to the top right corner of the screen. And click those three little dots. And then I'm going to say direct download. And it's going to ask me to save the files. Etc. Etc. Just going to click done. Keep everything as is. And the file was just downloaded. Now to go back to my document app, if you look to the bottom left of the screen, you're going to see that purple folder. We click on that, it takes us back to our documents, and you look for the folder that says download. Unless you change the folders, that's where everything is going to be downloaded to. And I click on download, and voila, there's my zip file. And then I can open, open up the score. You know, can easily view the scores like that. You have the four squares at the top to help you see the different pages of the score. And if you want also, you can, let me see. If I click the three dots in the top right corner, I can share it. So if I click share, it gives me the option to send it in Messenger, WhatsApp, you know, I can even send it to my email and so on. You know, lots of little things you can do. So now let me go back and show you how to download a video. So I'm just going to go back, click on. Let's say I want to download key of F this time, directly to the phone. There we go. Big yellow button that says download this course. When I click on it, the dialog box come up. Actually, that's the key of B. <laughs> um, so actually, no, that's correct. So I click done, boom, and the file was downloaded. Go back to my documents folder. And it's showing pending because the file is still downloading. Let's give it a few minutes and see, a few seconds and see how long it's gonna take. And it's completed. There you go. Turn the phone sideways. And that's it, guys. So for those of you who have iPhones and iPads, and you're wondering, how can I download these videos directly? There you go. As long as you open up that Documents app, go to Browser, anything you browse within that app that's, that's downloadable, you can download it directly to the app and it saves right there. And then from there, you can transfer it onto your desktop, to your laptop, to other devices. This is one of the most powerful apps I've come across as it relates to local file storage to, get, to sort of bypass that uh, Apple restrictions where you can't download. All right, so any link I sent you guys with downloadable materials, if you wanna download it directly to your iPhones or iPad, that's how you do it using the documents app from Riaddle. All right. So thanks again and catch you soon in another tutorial.